what is up everybody welcome to today's video and today we have a uh, newly released uh, the Nike Premier 3 so I think it's a good thing that there's three of these you know if a shoe can keep going and keep being you know made and hopefully um, made better with each um, one that releases um, I think that's something good it means that people like it and people are buying it um, and these honestly these the premiere is really a shoe that is old school with um, new tech and stuff involved in it um, so I'm not gonna drag this on for too long but let's take a look at them so here's the shoe it's your you know basic colorway uh, black and white it looks very similar to the premiere 2 um, I got a I'm gonna compare them I have some right here next to me um, the interesting thing about this though is they do have a guideline where you can cut if you so desire to remove this um, flat tongue which I kind of like it to be honest I don't think I would cut it I did cut them on a pair that I own and it, it still feels nice and feel feels good but I'm, I'm sorry on my premiere 2 I cut um, and it feels good it feels fine but there's something about that old school you know retro look that I really like and I feel like that's the whole reason why you buy this type of shoe there's the little cutting instructions if you can probably the camera won't pick that up but so yeah so um now to talk about it really quick um i believe um i believe that it's kangaroo leather up until the whole toe box area here is kangaroo leather um i i thought i read somewhere that they said that there was more um, kangaroo leather in this version um, it's pretty soft it's now that the paper is out let me take it out it does feel pretty soft mm. there's little I mean you can't really feel them but there's like some texturing kind of like the new uh, temples there's some type of um, um, texturing on that it looks like there's something on here can't really tell what they did to the leather here um, I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad um, but obviously you got your stitching to keep it from overstretching and then all the rest is synthetic which if I'm being honest I kind of like the synthetic better just because I feel like it's gonna last longer um, it's easier to clean and it's basically like a leather just um, you know I can paint it um, just like leather and stuff so um, it still works the same and, and it keeps the structure better you know if you wear like a Copa Mundial you can, people complain about those stretching uh, overly and and becoming very loose although I feel like the Copa Mundial is way more durable than this I haven't had any issues but again I haven't played enough in the premiere I really like it though it's a really good shoe uh, boot. I really wish that these were a little bit longer and it, they'd be great but you have basically have the same sole plate as before it just has a little cool Nike logo right there on that um, but yeah um, it, I think they just are continuing with it honestly just the added tongue there's texturing here and then the option to cut it and then the back right there um i wouldn't know that this was anything different i wouldn't know that this was a, a premiere three because honestly it looks just like the two so if you're in the need for um a new boot and you like the premiere two and maybe it's just ripped or old or something beat up you can definitely um, pick up the the three and that'll be good now i said i was gonna compare here are my one of, a pair of my twos and this is how I wear them fold over tongue um, I, 
put two laces up here and I wear them very very old school now this was a white and black pair um, just like the same colorway as this one but of course I blacked out the tops and I really like that look as well um, these I might leave like this just to kind of have a different pair um, but let me just compare so so yeah the biggest difference is gonna be this side here um, this stitching goes here versus here it comes all the way around almost to the front of the toe and these on here stop here right where that goes and then this goes all the way through um, but I feel like you don't have a problem with overstretching with the Premier 2 so I feel like the Premier 3 you should be fine as well so if you really like um, the 2 and you need a new boot um, then I would definitely recommend the 3 without even wearing it I haven't put it on I haven't tried it on but I just know the quality of the Premier um, it kind of makes you wonder uh, you know why they don't promote this for more players and they don't put the whole marketing and, and stuff like that and the retail price on these is just I think hundred and ten dollars so definitely a very very good steal uh, and, a, and a great boot classic boot looking boot with new technology because they are they are very light um, let me weigh them for you how about that I wasn't gonna do that but let me weigh them for you okay so just for just to kind of gauge the difference I'm gonna weigh the two and see if there's any type of difference the two weighs in at 9.2 which of course isn't um, light in regards to like speed boots and stuff like that but again this isn't a speed boot it is a leather kangaroo leather with synthetic so it's probably it's gonna be a little heavier but honestly when you have them on your feet you can't really tell now the copa comes in at like 11 ounces so this is 9.1 ounces 9.2 whatever it said it's changed um i think is, is is really good considering that like the temples are like seven something like that I can't I, I, don't, I think don't remember exactly All right. so now we're gonna weigh the three and see if there's a difference so this one's at 9.5 so it's pro it's about the same I honestly I don't think you would you know you would tell a difference but there are a little bit there is a little bit more material on here like such as this area where it says premier um, right there that isn't on the two of course so that might add a little bit of weight but honestly probably on feet you're not gonna tell anyway so um, definitely if you're not into the flashy boots looking boots or maybe you haven't even tried something like this something classic if you haven't I recommend you either get this or a Copa because they're in the same price range but I think you would be happier with the premiere just because like I said it's lighter um, and the Copa might last you longer but I, f I highly doubt that you are going to appreciate especially if you're into newer boots or have tried them i don't think you're going to enjoy the the weight of them it's not a bad thing and you get used to it but you still when you put them on you can still kind of feel that and then if you're playing in you know winter or, or wet conditions muddy conditions you know that is just going to stick to the mud is just going to stick to the bottom of your boot therefore making it um difficult and heavier even heavier so yeah guys uh, i'm gonna end the video here that's my video on the Premiere 3. Definitely recommended. And I think you should get it if you are in the need or looking into a new boot, but have a low budget. These are definitely them. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.